You know one thing that was special about David? He was a man after God's heart. And that's why God was always with him. But you know something that he understood that a lot of us don't understand or that we forget? He inquired God about everything. Even though that he knew God was with him, he was successful in all these previous exploits. You know, uh, uh, um, defeating Goliath as a teenager, as a young man, when the, my, the, the war, men of war were afraid to fight him. You know, being anointed king and doing all these great exploits. He always inquired of the Lord before doing some type of, you know, military move, some type of tact tactical move. He always consulted the Lord. It's about nine times in scripture where, you know, the scripture says, and David inquired of the Lord. And the reason why that's so significant, because God didn't always give him the same answer. Here's an example of that. In 2 Samuel chapter 5, verses 17 through 21, David is inquiring of God about whether if he should go fight against the Philistines against the Philistines and God says, I will doubtless deliver the Philistines into thine hand. So of course God delivers the Philistines into David's hands. But shortly after the Philistines, just two verses down, shortly after they come back and try to fight again in the Valley of Rephaim. And, and uh, David inquires of the Lord once again in verse 23. Did he, he didn't just go back out and say, well, the Lord's going to get him into my hands again. He did. He's going to do it again. Cause I know God is with me. That would be, that would be his pride instead of, you know, he humbled himself and inquired of the Lord once again, Lord, what, what, what are we doing? How do, how do I do this this time? And he didn't give him the same strategy. He gave him a different strategy. That's why it's important to seek God about everything. And that's also how you how you get keen to hearing his voice, because you know what his voice sounds like, because you're always communicating with him. So, you know, his voice, that still small voice. But he gave him a new strategy. He said, no, you're not just going to go attack him like before. He says, he says, and David inquired of the Lord, and he said, thou shalt not go up. He told him, go up before. He said, thou shalt not go up, but fetch a compass behind them and come up over against them, against the mulberry tree. So basically get like some type of guerrilla tactic or some type of, you know, uh, stealth tactic. He didn't give him the same strategies. Many of you regarding your ministry or just anything, your life, your business, your family, anything, God has given you a certain way to do some things. And you've gotten comfortable with doing it, but you have not been inquiring, inquiring of him to see what he wants you to do. And you think you've you know because he told you something for a certain amount of time, but you're not giving him the chance to reveal to you new strategies, a new game plan. His ways are above our ways. So let him be God and inquire him on everything and also get to know his voice better by doing so. Amen.